first and most important step is to go ahead and disconnect the battery before we start working on the airbag system. The battery is located right here and we're going to lift up these covers. This cover is holding the negative side and then the positive side is right here. There's tabs on both sides right here. You can use a little screwdriver or flathead, just get underneath these tabs. There's one on that side and one on the other side. There's also signs there that will show you. Now here we have the positive and the negative. I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter. We're going to go ahead and loosen this this right here just loosen it up the negative side you can go ahead and remove very easily and put it to the side the positive side doesn't come up as easily as you can see you can't really see well from the angle but right over here you're going to need to put your flathead right between these tabs here once you have that tab popped off you can go ahead and start removing the top wiggle it back and forth until it comes off and as you can see it doesn't come completely off so i'm going to go ahead and put something non-conductive right on top of that contact right there a rag or a rubber glove, anything non-conductive, just put it right around that contact and then you can leave it just like that. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars Plus, you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. At this point, you can lift the module right up. Now, if your car was in an accident, we can actually reset your original module. There's no need to buy a brand new one or even a used one that might not fit your vehicle right. And plus, you may need to get it programmed to the car since it's not original to your car. Most body shops, collision shops, salvage repair yards, they use my airbags to reset the original module. That way they know they're dealing with the original computer out of the car. And the best part is they don't have to buy expensive dealership replacement parts. Now with these Chevy Malibus, we've noticed over the years that every time we get a module in for a reset, both front seat belts will be deployed. Now each side, however, has two parts to it. There's one pretension unit right in the wall, right behind this panel here. And there's another one that goes beneath the floor. It goes right into the side here and disappears down there. Let's take a look. Now the way we get to that side panel is to work from it from here up to the center. So we're gonna get right down into here and start prying these panels up. You can either use your 
fingers, or you can get under there with a flat bar or a flathead screwdriver and just pop the tabs up and just loosen them up and we're gonna work our way into the center. So just keep working this up. You're gonna get to this seam right here and you're gonna lift this piece up first. Once that's up, it's gonna free up the center. So we're gonna hold this up and start working the center panel. So we're gonna keep prying this up and work towards the center. Now on some of these, you may notice a little silver tab right there. You can actually assist it by pressing down on it with a flathead, right down on that metal piece. And while you press down on it, push out and that'll come right up, just like that. And you kind of want to just do the same thing going up. Some come up much easier, just like that plastic tab right there. Same thing with the back side of it. You want to go ahead and lift that up first, and then that center piece will be free. And now we have a really good view of the seat belt pretensioner unit, as well as the anchor pretensioner unit right over here. There's two pieces on this Chevy Malibu that deploy. So the main pretensioner unit has a plug right there. It's a purple and yellow plug. It's connected to the pretensioner unit right there. That's one of the parts that deploys. And this piece locks down. Okay, so this is what's known as a dual stage seatbelt. I have one plug right here on my main pretensioner unit right here. Now, if you notice the seatbelt goes up and then it comes back down on this side and it keeps going down into the floor and you'll see a cylinder shaped tube right there. Now at the end of that cylinder shaped tube, right there, you'll see that same yellow and purple plug right there. That's another part that deploys. So this seatbelt is called a dual stage seatbelt, meaning it has two parts that deploys, one right there and then one right there, this whole piece as well. So those are two parts to deploy. When our customers send these two pieces in together, they get a bundle price. So the way we would go about removing this is by first making sure the battery, of course, is disconnected. And then we're going to unplug those two plugs that we just went over. Then you wanna go ahead and start working these bolts right here. There's the first one that holds down the anchor tensioner right here. And then we have this bolt right here that holds down the main pretensioner unit right here. Now, if you follow the seat belt up, right behind this panel, right about over here, you're going to have another bolt that holds this seat belt side up. Now, of course, we're looking at the passenger side, but the driver side is gonna look pretty much the same. Now, both driver and passenger side both deploy. You can go ahead and remove the driver side and passenger side, and instead of getting them replaced, you can get the originals rebuilt. You can go to myairbags.com, select your year, make, and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out, once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, We'll service your parts. We'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question, and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.